this video, I'd like to explain why we need to move to higher frequency. From our convention low frequency, we actually move to RF frequency. And now we need to move even higher frequency like microwave frequency. There are actually seven reasons. Okay, the first reason is actually higher bandwidth and data rate. Okay, let me explain the data rate over here first. Okay, so you can see that this is actually two waveform. Okay, so this is actually a one hertz waveform. This is actually a two hertz waveform. As you can see from here, one second you actually has one waveform, while over here one second you actually has so-called two waveform. So now imagine, okay, every sine wave I actually receive one bit of data. So with one second, I actually receive one bit of data for one hertz. However, for the case of two hertz, you can see from here, I actually receive one bit and I'm going to receive another bit. So at one second now, instead of one, I actually receive two bits of data for this two hertz so-called waveform. So over here, you can see that when I actually increase my frequency, I actually also increase my data rate. Next, the second reason is when we actually move to higher frequency, we are going to have less interference and actually all those at low frequency are already congested. So over here, you can see that there are various broadcasts, various applications at all the lower frequency. So we have no choice. We need to move to a new territory, which is at higher frequency that we can have lesser interference. So this is reason number two. Reason number three is because of this equation. Okay. With this equation, you can see that we're actually able to achieve smaller antenna size with higher frequency. Okay, so this is the speed of propagation. Let's imagine that we have the speed of the light, which is 3 times 10 to the power 8 meter per second. This is frequency, and this is typically so-called proportional to the antenna size, such as lambda over 2 or lambda over 4. So from here, you can see that when I actually increase the frequency, I actually reduce the antenna size because the speed of propagation for electromagnetic wave will be constant. So from here, you can see that when frequency increase, the antenna size also reduce. Next, okay, we are going to have a better chances to have a line of sight communication with higher frequency because okay, diffraction will be minimum at higher frequency. And again, we are going to have a lower refraction at higher frequency. And because of this, we are going to have a better chances to have a line of sight communication. Next reason number five is because we're going to have a better directional control. Let's take a look on this equation here. You can see that this is what we call the bin width of the waveform that is released by the antenna. Okay, so this is actually the lambda. As I mentioned earlier on, big frequency, we are going to have a small lambda. And once we have this small lambda, I'm going to have a smaller bin width, which means that I'm able to concentrate at a particular reason. So therefore, I'm going to have a better directional control. Coming to the reason number six, okay, we are going to have an improved resolution in radar and also image. At this equation here, you can see that it's actually over bandwidth. If we are going to have a higher bandwidth, which means that supporting higher frequency, okay, so this thing will be reduced, which means that I have a better resolution. And last but not least, okay, so the higher frequency is mainly to use to support for modern technology such as 5G, better satellite and space communication, and wireless backhaul.